look! The ferocious monster was attacking the little princess! Could she escape from his sharp claws? Let Woba Fairy Tales tell you what happened with today's story. Once upon a time, in a beautiful and prosperous kingdom, the king and the queen lived happily with their treasure, Princess Malia. Malia was much pampered by her parents. Since she was a kid, she really loved horse riding, and she used to practice fencing with her father. Therefore, the king asked his people to forge a sword for Malia to bring it along with her. That happiness felt like forever, until the queen got seriously ill and passed away. My dear, I have to go far away, and I won't be able to be with you anymore. Promise me that you will always bring this hairpin along with you. It will protect you from me. No, Mom! Don't leave me alone! Suddenly, she became motherless after just one night. This made her so hurtful. Not long after, when her sorrow was not yet eased, her father remarried another woman. Her stepmother was really ugly, but no one knew why the king loved her so much. The princess had to live in fear every day because one time, she accidentally saw the queen was practicing magic in her room. Father, you should guard against the queen. Today I saw her doing magic in her room. <laughs> Not at all. She was with me the whole time. You're mistaken. Don't be too suspicious. The queen is really good. You should try to open your heart with her. The king kept on living with his infatuation for the queen. Until one day, he suddenly went huh? missing. The king has been seriously ill. He kept it for himself because he didn't want everyone to see his bad image. So he went out to discover the world outside on his last days of life, and he handed over this kingdom for me. From now on, I will try my best to take care of the people and the princess. I don't huh? believe it! You definitely harmed my father! I saw you practice dark magic many times in your room. I will go find my father and bring him back to punish you. <laughs> if you know it, I won't have to act anymore. People, put the princess into the dungeon. Let me see how can she find her huh? father. <laughs> the princess was detained in the dark dungeon wrongly. She shouted out loud, knocked the door, but no one cared about her. The princess hurtfully cried with her face down, but she quickly wiped her tears and thought about the way to escape. I cannot sit here and cry. I have to find the way to get out of here. She suddenly remembered about the hairpin she always brought along with her. She gently used that hairpin to pick the lock and secretly escaped. She kept running into a deep forest. Reaching halfway, the guards discovered that the princess had escaped. They chased away and blocked her. They rushed there to attack her. Although being practiced fencing before, she was still no match for the guards. If I keep on fighting, I will be exhausted and lose it. I have to find another way. The princess quickly looked around and saw the vines huh? which hang firmly on the tree. That's it! My savior is here! She immediately grabbed the vines and combined them like a net. Then, she swung to the back, making all the guards stuck in those vines. After that, she quickly ran away. Running for a while and totally lost them, she was bewildered. She didn't know where to go to find her father. Wandering around the jungle until God exhausted, she collapsed and fell asleep. In her dream, she recalled the happy days when her father was riding a horse and took her to a beautiful valley with full of flowers. Then she suddenly woke up. Right, how could I forget that flower valley? I have to go there immediately. Maybe father is there. Thinking that she was about to find her father, 
The princess was so happy until she reached the valley. Father, I'm your beloved Malia. If you're here, please come here to see me. I miss you so much. She kept ah. calling, but she could see her father nowhere. Suddenly, a monster appeared and attacked her. She ran away in panic. But she was cornered. The monster raised his claw to finish her. She drew her sword intending to stab him. But she saw that his neck was seized by a necklace. And he looked really painful. She decided to use her sword to cut off the necklace. The light lifted the monster up and mm. turned him into her father. <laughs> they hugged each other and cried in happiness. <sighs> Malia, I should have listened to you. The queen is really a cruel witch. She casted a spell on the necklace and gave it to me. After wearing the necklace, my whole body was painful and I was turned into a ferocious monster, making me so astonished at that time. My last reason brought me here, staying away from the world for not letting anyone see me in this appearance, and also for not harming the innocent people. I'm sorry for not believing and protecting you. I will hmm. never blame you, and you don't need to blame yourself. <laughs> Both of them seemed really happy when seeing each other, but the witch suddenly appeared. She used her magic power to attack Malia. Seeing that, the king rushed there to cover her and got seriously injured. Malia angrily fought against the witch, but she was quickly knocked out far away. <laughs> oh, what a touching fatherhood! I was your mother's friend since we learned magic. I also tried my best, but why did your mother become more and more beautiful with the love of everyone? Meanwhile, I had to live in an ugly appearance and was isolated by everyone. She even stole the one who I secretly loved from me. I am not content. I have to destroy her happiness, making her disappear from my vision. And you all should go with her! Don't fool yourself! I didn't love you and never love you. I only love her. She didn't steal anything from you. <laughs> Malia was so astonished, even being seriously injured. She tried to rush there to hug her father and to protect him. While the magic power was heading towards them, the pin on her hair suddenly shone bright. It looked like her mother appeared. She stretched out her hands to hug both of them. An enormous power knocked the witch out far away, making her exhausted, and Malia's father was also recovered. After defeating the witch, the king ordered his people to put her into a dark dungeon forever. Since then, they lived a peaceful life together forever after.